Hey everybody, I am Jared Ross, a Genie Vlogger, and welcome to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to Backstreet Boys DNA reveal with My Heritage. This was actually a suggested video that was suggested in a comment from my first React video. So this is going to be my first suggested video that I'm actually reacting to. But if you have others that you would like to suggest that I react to, anything that has DNA test results or anything genealogy related, just link it down in the comments below and I'll probably check it out. Um, but before we get in the video, please be sure to give me that thumbs up. That really helps out. And you can also click subscribe and click that bell so that you get notifications. But... Let's go ahead and jump into the video. But how closely related are we all? My Heritage DNA. Super excited to find out what my heritage is. I wonder if any of them will be related. I've always wondered where I was from. I get the feeling at least at least two of them are related. Wow, okay, 43.3% Iberian. You know it has some Spanish in it. 30.1% Scandinavian. Here, maybe that's where my son Holden has got blonde hair. Those recessive genes. All right, let's see. Mostly Iberian, 30.1% 30 Scandinavian. 9.3% African. That's interesting. I wonder I wonder if that's Northern Africa, Eastern Africa, West Africa, South Africa. Uh, that'd be interesting to see. 7.7% uh, Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. 5% Central and South American. So he has some uh, indigenous Native American. Uh, oh, I'm getting messages. Uh, let's see. And then we have uh, Native American, Middle Eastern and Native American, and then Balkan. Okay, interesting. So yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a pretty good mix. So, um, you know, I'm guessing he probably has some sort of... Uh, Mexican or South American ancestry, you know, Central America, South America. Um, very cool. All right, let's see uh, see the rest of the Backstreet Boys. I got a lot of European. 11.7 Scandinavian. Yeah, of course. Of course he is. Viking. I watched the TV show. 9.3% Italian. Italian? That's, that's crazy. Wow. 20% English? That's pretty cool. 7.1% Finnish. I knew I was always finished with whatever wow. I was doing. If, if, <laughs> if he's starting out 20.7 and then finish 7.1, I wonder if he's got a bunch of small mix of European or if they're just leaving out a big, uh, large chunk. Oh, yeah, they're leaving out the huge 70% Irish and Scottish. 39% Iberian, 19.5% East European. That would be the Russian. 8.3% Nigerian. Nigerian. Wow. Very interesting. I'd I'd be very interested. Gosh, I'm getting so many messages right now. I'd be very interested to see um see their actual ancestries. Uh I wonder I wonder if my heritage did that. There someone probably did. Alright, let's see what AG he's got. Okay, yeah, he's Eastern European, Central and South America, Nigerian, Ashkenazi Jewish, North and Western Europe North and West European, North African, Middle Eastern. Now I really I think I said this in another video, but I really kind of wish that um some of these companies wouldn't always say Ashkenazi Jewish. Now my heritage can get away with it though, because my heritage has uh Jewish population groups in their in their admixtures that are not just Ashkenazi. So they do have Sephardi, um, they do have, I believe, Mizrahi, and as well as a few others. Um, now they haven't released any of the actual precision and recall numbers in a white peep in a white paper. But I know in my own personal experience and from what I've heard from other people with known Sephardi ancestry or known Jewish ancestries that weren't Ashkenazi, it wasn't always necessarily identified properly. So to me, that probably says that they may not have the highest recall and precision numbers, but uh, still interesting. And I, I, I wonder what his ancestry is because I wonder if maybe that Ashkenazi Jewish is going along with that Eastern European, the Russian he was talking about. Or if maybe some of his some of his results seem to indicate the possibility of, you know, South American or Central American um, ancestry, or possibly even Caribbean. I mean, with the you know Nigerian and North African, 
Um, you know, there's a lot of different possibilities, but I wonder if maybe that Ashkenazi Jewish could be kind of like a Sephardi, you know, hidden Sephardi ancestry or something like that. Um, Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's just, you know, these are the questions that the genetic admixtures, you know, bring up. And until you start diving into the family tree and seeing the actual ancestry to make sense of this, um, there's just so many possibilities. You know, it's kind of, it's almost like an art reading genetic admixtures in a sense, because you have to use those with the family tree and the gen genetic matches to kind of figure out the true ancestry. So, yeah. Very, very interesting results. Very interesting results. 44.1% English. Oh, wow. 19.7% Irish. Scottish. And Dutch. Wow. This shows here that I have 12,755 DNA matches. This is pretty dope. Uh, 12,755 is likely... 12,755 is likely an endogamous population that he's getting all those matches through. Thanks to my heritage, I finally get to know what makes me who I am. That is awesome. <laughs> you actually might be one of my relatives. We are one. Very we true. Are one. One we are one blood. All right, really cool video, real quick. Uh, they, they really jumped through all of those results. But like I was saying, it'd be really interesting to see their actual family trees to make better sense of their admixture results. Um, I wonder if anyone has done that. I'll have to look into it and see. Um, but, you know, there's tons of celebrities always doing, you know, who do you think you are and finding your roots. So I wouldn't be surprised if any of them pop up on any episodes coming up soon. But thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it that thumbs up. It really does help me out. And you can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'll see you in my next video.